Welcome to the Two Minute Sermon. I always get a kick out of folks complaining that pastors shouldn't be political or attend political protests. After all, one of the best known stories about Jesus is one in which he engages in a huge protest in the middle of the temple courtyard during Passover. Every Jewish family was required to travel to Jerusalem during Passover and make an adequate sacrifice to God, a bull or a lamb or a dove. Since many families had to travel a great distance just to get to Jerusalem, and many weren't in the herding business anyway, a great number of people just waited until they got to the city to purchase their offerings. And so a thriving business sprang up right there in the courtyard of all the animals you might need. Oh, and in order to purchase your sacrificial lamb, you had to have coinage, but not Roman coinage because that contained the image of the divine emperor, a gross violation of everything Jews believed. Your Roman money was not good there. First, it had to be changed into Jewish money, thus a big trade in money changing. So what was Jesus protesting exactly? I think he was protesting everything that the temple had become. It wasn't the center of prayer and worship. It was instead a big marketplace where rich businessmen and corrupt priests fleeced ordinary people. That's why Jesus overturned the money changing tables and sent the animals stampeding across the courtyard. It's a great scene, but I wondered, did it do any good? What happened the next day? I bet the vendors and the money changers were back. Maybe they were, but maybe that wasn't Jesus' point. I believe Jesus' protest is essentially an act of witness. To witness is to testify to the truth, to proclaim, hey, something's wrong here. This isn't the way things should be. And then, even if for a short period of time, to model what that truth looks like. For just a few minutes or hours, the temple was free of the vendors, free of the economic exploitation. So, what have you done lately to bear witness? See you next week.